Hello, I'm Bami Niatupski, and I'm your student event co-coordinator for CT Colt. I've been working with Melissa Tubbs uh, to prepare the contest celebrations and awards. So let's find out what is about to launch for this year. So everyone is invited as a language educator in Connecticut, whether you work in a private, public, heritage language school, everyone is invited, uh, would love to have you participate and for your learners to um, to take part in these events. So if you have participated or you've been involved in the committee work before, um, I invite you to, to come back, to continue. Um, there have been plenty of people who have been working really hard um, at making these programs happen for many years of CT Cult and please continue. And if you've never participated before and you're not sure where to get started, let's find out a little bit more. So based upon the needs of your students, check out what are what will be the best offerings to help your students, your program, and you to learn, grow, and to be a leader in language, edu uh, language education, language learning. Uh, so you will notice that there are hyperlinks here, and this is linked below the video. Um, if you're interested in maybe thinking about joining a committee or even sharing or judging, uh, there are plenty of opportunities to do so. And if you're not, um, if you want a little bit more information, check out the newsletter article that I wrote a few months ago. And in it, I describe kind of some of the things that held me back from participating in student events in the past. Um, and maybe some of those experiences or ideas will resonate with you as well. So for the contest celebrations and awards, most of the events are asynchronous with an essay contest, artwork contest, rhyme celebration, uh, the student awards for excellence, and there is a new celebration in development. Stay tuned. And there is a live virtual event at the end of March. The Paul M. St. Louis Poetry Recitation Contest um, is coming our way. And so if you'd like to focus on the inherent value of language learning and the importance of becoming culturally competent, uh, the essay contest or the cult artwork contest may be a good fit for you and for your learners. And if you'd like to explore the intrinsic cultural value of poetry and rhymes as an art form that brings people together, uh, we have the rhyme celebration. We do have the poetry recitation contest. And one of the things I'm really excited about, the poetry recitation contest committee has been working hard to um, update kind of some of the offerings. We have a number of languages. We actually have 16 languages that have poetry slates for this year and really aligning what are some of the opportunities for learners to engage with poetry and and how to bring joy to that and some some learning activities with that as well. Um, so check that out. And if you'd like to recognize your students for their achievement, a very straightforward way um, for for recognizing students would be the Student Awards for Excellence. Um, and that's a really great way to encourage students to know like, hey, I see you. Um, you're an enthusiastic language learner and this is something that you should continue with and really as a as a part of encouraging your learners um, and something they can put in their college resumes um, and be proud of and know like, hey, I've got this and just to encourage them. Uh, and there is a new celebration. Stay tuned. Um, more will be unveiled in the spring. And again, I bring it back to where to get started. Um, if you have any questions, please email me. Do not hesitate. My email is neatubskib at ctcult.org. And if you have any ideas or experiences that you'd like to share um, about what you'd like to see our uh, student events and contests uh, going forward, and if you have any needs in that area or any questions, please feel free. Let me know. I look forward to uh, seeing you with our events. Thank you. Hasta luego.